Hello and welcome to JD Stone Creations. My name is Johnny, and these are my guitars. The Dean VMT and the Illuminator. I want a flying V that sounds and plays like that. Time to build a new one. Ah, phone. Come on, Robin, answer the phone. Hey, as it stands here, I can't really see the shape unless I actually get my face down and lay it on there and look at it properly. So, one thing I do, piece of chalk. And we just go. There we go. And that's the edge lines that I've got. I can do the same on the other side just to see where we are. So I know that there's a bit of a dip kind of there and there's a little lump on that bit. To be honest, you can do to the vast majority of it and get get a really good idea of what the wood grain and what the uh, planing is like. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it must be said, it is looking quite symmetrical. Which is good. Ah, uh, got to sleep. Um, what? Oh yeah, there's no audio today. Uh, battery died in the recorder. Wait, no, I have batteries. Hold that thought. Right, we have audio, and we also have a V with three massive bolts in it. One ninety. 1110, 130. Sorry, 113. One uh, you know what I mean. And that bought successfully into these. Unfortunately, I now need to do the other side, and it's basically taken me the best part of all day to do that. So, I'm going to try and repeat the process quite quickly. I've got those two lines that I'm pretty sure I mentioned at some point. It's where the pickups line up anyway. I had the bolts sticking through, hit them with a hammer, and I've got a mark here. A mark here and a mark uh, there. So hopefully those marks are enough to line up the guide and drill through them. Alright, let's see what happens. We go in this way. Hey. Yep, happy with that. What? Got right into me ear that. The noise, not the sawdust. <laughs> There's one. Do I do exactly the same for those two holes? Or was that how I started last time and that's how I ended up with problems? So this is why I didn't film any of that because a lot of it was just thinking and wondering what the hell I'm doing. Sod it, I'm going all the way through. Oh, I already have. <laughs> and then, it was basically a week later. Lots of things went wrong. But, uh, yeah, after not filming for basically all of today, uh, we've sort of fixed all of the problems. Nearly there anyway. To get these two holes drilled, I completely abandoned the hole six and then six and a half and then ten and this way and that way and whatever. And I went and bought some big drill bits. Now, there were seven in this set. There are now only six in this set, usable. However, I paid five seventy-nine, something like that, I think. So I basically thought, I only need the six mil. If I can get the six or the seven to drill the one hole that I need for each of these, then that's it. That five pounds has paid for itself. I drilled the first hole, 
with a 6mm. Unfortunately, yeah, it's not straight anymore. <laughs> it either got too hot or I think I reversed it or something, I don't know, but it's twisted at that bit. So actually, that bit is usable. Kind of. But, yeah, not great. Luckily, the 7mm one sufficed and that has made the perfect hole for that one. Yeah, and they're basically centered in the right places there. I think that one, when you look at it closely, it's a little bit low down, but to be honest, once once that's in place, really, you're gonna care or notice? I'm not anyway, and it's my guitar, so whatever. And then we have this hole, which as you can see has a big peg in it. That's because I drilled, um, well, yeah, this drill bit was attached into that. It caught, so that went about three quarters of the way down. I thought it was about halfway, something like that. But it basically meant that when you put the small bolt in, uh, it stuck out too far. So the simple solution is make this peg. Really, camera? Focus. There we go. Insert that in. That seems to fill that hole nicer around there. Yes, I think we're going that way. And yes, this is actually an offcut of mahogany from the body, so it should, in theory, work quite well. So I'll stick some glue in there, hammer it in, chop it off, drill it in, and hopefully we'll have some holes on this side that are as good as on this side. It's, it's together. That's, that is a guitar body and neck that are uh, too big to fit in frame. <laughs> I'm going to come this far away. <laughs> uh, funny thing is, it's still got smaller dimensions than the other flying bee that I've got. That's why I'm building it, because the other one doesn't fit in any case. This one, well, it will. So of course, oh my god that's heavy, it's a good thing that I'm going to be routing about half a kilogram of material out of this still. So that's your normal flying V pose isn't it? That works absolutely fine, but the great thing is because of this extra cutting you don't have to hold the guitar like that. You have somewhere to actually rest your arm to do picking and that is in the right place I and mean, it's a bit sharp here but that's fine because that bit's going to be chamfered to well, quite a bit so yeah once you get your arm in place you can do 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 except actually I'm just going to be going do 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 and that's it so yeah but the main thing about this entire guitar is the bottom cut out which is one perfectly balanced and two just in the perfect spot. You can stick that on your knee, even when you sat down, stood up, whatever, stick that on your knee and you're good. It's in the right place. It's not too far forward to, to make this uh, an ache for your arm. It's not too far, I suppose that's actually backwards, but it's, so it's not too far forward that way so that you've got to reach a long way over there. It's, it's, just, it's just right. You can still tilt it up quite a bit. It's good. It works. So I've started drawing out different lines and things around here and around the back. I've got a line that goes doo 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 doo, which is going to be how much is shaped off of this. So none of that's going to exist. That's all going to smoothly run up there and that kind of thing. So that the three times in its life that I will actually play up at this end, or if I ever learn to play up at this end, um, it'll, it'll just be smooth and it'll work. To be honest, as it is there, that's not in the way. 
you can you can fit your hand the entire way around. Might not even take that much off. So yeah, there you go. Anyway, time to go home now.